Hey, dames en heren, welkom bij een nieuwe video. So frustrating. Vandaag you wanted verder. to speak with me, mother? I had hoped to speak with you alone, Natsai. Your message mentioned your concern about an unusual creature that was spotted in the woods near Hogsmeade. That could have been anything. You know what it was, Natsai. I am allowed to leave the castle. I am always careful, mother. Careful? Officer Singer disagrees. She sent me an owl telling me that you have been trying to collect evidence of some kind against dark wizards. She berated me for not keeping a closer eye on you. And she is right. I do not want you visiting Hogsmeade for the near future. But mother! My little gazelle, you are well-intentioned, but you must not meddle in the affairs of dangerous people. If someone had meddled in Matabilaland, father would still be with us. I must get to class. Perhaps your friend can get you to listen to reason. So frustrating. She never listens to me. She called you her little gazelle. Is that a term of endearment where you're from? It is specific to me. <sighs> I am the unusual creature in Hogsmeade she mentioned. Self-transfiguration is not taught at Hogwarts, so I am gently discouraged from practicing it. However, I am an Animagus, and it is in my gazelle form that I have been able to wander the Highlands rather freely until now, much to my mother's chagrin. That is how I managed to spy on Rookwood and Harlow. Now the nickname makes sense. What an extraordinary ability to have. It is. I love transforming, but Mother is less enthusiastic about it. She says that no creature, especially one as rare as a gazelle, should be bounding about where poaching has become so prevalent. <sighs> she claims that she has foreseen tragedy befall me in my gazelle form. But she has used her sight to control me too many times. I no longer believe it. We're making good progress. We can't quit now. I agree. I have never considered quitting, even for a moment. You could have fled it. the moment you discovered that Rookwood, Harlow, and Randwalk were after you. But you did not. I choose to act as you have. I must deal with Rookwood and Harlow, not hide from them. <sighs> My mother cannot know where I am all the time. Thank you for being here during that rather awkward conversation. Half to. Oh. Here's the and on the. lead to Hogsmeade. Over here. This is a change of pace from our last outing. Don't remind me. The thought of that tent still makes my blood boil. I've been thinking about those poor dragons in the fighting room. The collars they were wearing, they appeared to be goblin silver. I think a collar is precisely what we found at that poacher camp. I've never known poachers to use anything like that before. The dragon that attacked my carriage was wearing a collar, and Professor Fig was genuinely baffled by its behavior. That attack always did strike me as a little strange, seemingly coming out of nowhere. Surely you aren't suggesting that the collars somehow control the poor creatures? Exactly. Merlin, I don't think the dragon we set free was wearing a collar, but we should check. And if we can find her, we can return her egg. That's a good idea. We need to see this through. I'll start looking into it right away. There was something else that I wanted to discuss with you. 
I didn't want to press it before. It seems I may have caused you more trouble with Victor Rookwood. Why is he after you? Rookwood is working with Ranrock, and Ranrock is after something I found at Gringotts. Fig had a porky that led us there after the dragon attack. It's a bit of a long story, and Fig had asked that I not speak of it yet. Goodness. Well, that certainly helps to shed light on what we saw at the tent. Don't worry, I'll guard your secret as if it were my own. I shan't press for more details. In fact, I should probably be going. I'd like to track that dragon down as soon as I can. I'll let you know when I have news of her location. Okay. One less human to worry about. A <coughs> prisoner of dying, are we? Looks rather you're here. Good. Ah, Sebastian, that relic you mentioned. I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them. So I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne when we've finished. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read. I'm sure that foul smell is the scent of success. Try not to lose your nerve just yet. Revelio! Now we know we're not alone in here. Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the tomb will be insect free. Yeah, spiders aren't insects. Don't start. Akio. Opening all of these is tempting. We're here for a reason. I'd say opening them all is justified. Bombarder, 
this grass. It no longer feels like a tomb. I've read about catacombs that underwent expansion efforts and ran into problems. Often chaos, and then were abandoned. Exactly. We'll be fine, though. God, this my gear, holy fool. This is the sort of great room I want to buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. <laughs> bones outside a sarcophagus. There's something here by the altar. Couldn't bring them. What did you find? Bombarda! Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student summary referenced the space beyond the great room, which means this can't be a dead end. I have the report if you want to have a look. Let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperius curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Look, bones stacked oddly on either side of this archway. Hmm. Leave no stone unturned. Or in this case, no bone. Accio! Guardian Leviosa! If this archway's been barricaded, we can find a way through. Revelio! Accio! Revelio. Accio. Did you hear that? We're 
in the tomb. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. You've done it. I knew we'd get through. I felt it in my bones. Nice. Uh, the student's blue. diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. It's an unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So, if you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Please. Focus your wand's movement. It's not an easy spell to master. Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard. Spiders can make such a mess. Bit dramatic, isn't it? Um. Catacomb has suffered decay. If what verder and then just as the student summary described, I doubt anyone's been here in quite some time.
Revelio. Nee, hier niet. Bombarder. Revelio. Another barricade. Considering how well you did on the last one, this should be a sin. Akio. How gracious of you. I trust you. Bombarda. Akio. That worked. Keep going. We've read the world of another spider. I shall sleep better tonight. Akio. Shoulders above these bones. Nicely done. Revelio. <coughs> I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. That did never end.
Dead end. Lovely. All that for nothing. Hold on. Don't give up yet. Sebastian! The relic! Look! Could it be? The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea. But we're here for the relic. I'm willing yeah. to ignore what the journal entry says. We're taking the relic. Agreed. This is meant to be. For Anne's sake, I'm Mage. taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. I must keep this relic secret, especially for my uncle. Is that ominous? Ominous. The sounds we kept hearing, it was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, Ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Can't believe this. How much did you hear? Everything. I heard you encourage Sebastian to take the relic. Sebastian's done his research. He knows what he's doing. Sebastian makes things sound easy when they could be impossible or dangerous. We need to stop him. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. Sebastian's right. We need that relic. I'm sorry. My mind is made up. Are you willing to sacrifice your friendship over this? I might be. How could I choose to stand by and watch him do this? What if the choice wasn't yours? You wouldn't be to blame for what happens. What in the world are you suggesting? Imperium! Now that you say it out loud, it sounds absurd. But I have another idea. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. I'm being taken for a fool. You're not, Ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. Fine. If I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. I hope I don't regret this. Sebastian, we're ready. What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? I'll explain on the way. Come on. Nee, niet hier. Niet hier. Well, what happened back there? Ominous and I found a compromise. Ominous simply needs a moment with you and he'll change his mind. Is that it? I told him we ought to give you this chance. That the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more to it than Bombarder. that. Tell me. We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word. The blues are the mall. I never wanted to keep all this from Ominous. He just doesn't understand. And I did want to worry him all over again. As we were leaving, Ominous wouldn't even acknowledge me. That's not like him. He was troubled, Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a lot. Again. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important. 
Tahan. I'm always right to look. When we get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous. It did only upset her. And who's got any money? Who's got any money for you? So. Oh no! This isn't good. What is it? Smoke over there by the hamlet. Feldcroft's in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry. Nothing. I won't hear you. Rubber up, why? What have you done? Save <coughs> my sister! Build an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. What did my uncle expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. You did what you had to do. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home. From my sister. It might be best to let him calm down a while. May I speak to him? Perhaps I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Probably best if I get away from here for a while. I'll head back to Hogwarts. Wat moet ik nog met je ongepraat ook? Wat was hij thinking? Pardon me, Mr. Salo. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. Miss Ramley does not resort to using dark magic even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all 
tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Blah, blah, blah. Why, Sebastian? Rebellion. Our Hebridean dragon friend and where to return her, you know what. Meet me in the town circle in Hogsmeade. I'm going to have a look at the map and I'm going to have a look at the 